met by a couple Ziff. Oh, up on his front foot, and there it is. Ziff to find the first. And speaking of Zeldris, we say uh, goodbye early in this one, Dust. Indeed we do, and they're not, you know, wasting any time still trying to pursue this fight. Paint shells come in, but largely satchel asked Jonah six, thanks to those still able to pick him up. And good utility already, right? Coming out from the harbor. We already oh see the wall go up. The cascade blocks off everything, and okay, we're not completely dead, especially here on split. Meanwhile, mid control, still the name of the game, but they're just spamming through it. Steal right back to it with the Ares. And he'll find the kill on Zeldris who just cannot get the wind in his sails. Ah, uh, and clear able to find another one there with the headhunter. Took a couple of rounds to do it, but the job is still done, and we might even see another full haul this victory from Disguise, unless Jonah and Lear can make something happen. They're trying to come up B, have an alarm bot's going to be there, protects it, Clear can swing with it, but does get caught. Nice flash, though, for Gangsta to repeat the angle. Yeah, a little bit of a ramps pressure thanks to Nilly, but Ziff is going to be able to snuff it out there with the paint shells. Good flash comes in as well. Lear gets tagged, and Ziff will finish it off. And, I mean, Disguise is just looking like like just not really effort being required for them to get these rounds under their belts. I mean, look at this. It's just, yeah, it's, just seems effortless. <laughs> so, but gets stuffed. Does at least clear underneath heaven, so limits one of the angles they have to worry about as they approach the site. And a blast pack to try and help him out. Unfortunately, the long angle wasn't quite being held until it was as Gangsta trades back to One kill, but it's not remaining. enough just yet. As Gangsta falls, it's all up to clear. The player who started the round with a bit of damage, unfortunately, doesn't have but a bit of time as Lear and Nilly will look to play the clock as that spike continues to tick. The first one decapitated, clear. Probably gonna have to stick this one here. Nilly gonna look to get aggressive. Spike goes halfway, and unfortunately, he'll hop off to try and find the frag, but fine. By the skies to just burn more of or your utility more often early round. Oh man, and Zell just to do it again. The first one to fall, clear. Takes the shot, lands it, teleports to safety. Unfortunately, the showstopper puts Jonah in a bad spot. The steal will find another. It's all up to VNS and Lear now to try and pick up the pieces here in the 2v4. As they play on the other side of the high tide. The first one down, the next one just about to follow. But VNS will trade it out. We'll look to do some damage control. Unfortunately, not ready for Gangsta on the necessary spot. Everything. The Cosmic Divide is going to make it a little bit harder, but it did scramble the site for just a second. But OR Esports, they're still on it. Two players inside main. Two players backside play the high low. Zeldris to find the first. Unfortunately, Jonah to get spammed through the wall and taken down. Now it's all up to the players inside main. And a rocket is sent their way as Nilly survives for a moment longer. But a moment is all it was as the Cove goes. Yeah, big kill there. And the timing just very unfortunate there. As Steel also to fall to some unfortunate timing. Lear now. Down to 14 HP, won't be able to heal himself up, but still a player the lead, our OR Esports, and there's always going to be that paranoia as to where that Sky is playing back out towards mid. Meanwhile, here on the site, the Skies need to start picking up the pace. Clear going to try and clear things out with just the Headhunter alone, as Lear will finally get some value on the Lurk. The Skies are just starting to get cut down and forcing Exalt to now back away. He'll look for some exits to make that play or waste that time for much longer. So now Spike planted... Here for OR. Clear hoping somebody pushes aggressively. Now let's take a close range battle. Toward a force in hand. We'll find the first. It's Zeldris to fall. TP to safety. The wall goes up. And now the site is for the taking here for Disguise. Gangsta gets one on the back lines. Lear up close and personal. Finds two to his name. And the spray down. It just goes wide. Three for Disguise. And that way where they slow down this B attack a bit. And they get some free damage off. But now the real push begins. Yeah, good. Playing counter flash there with Ziff. He drops down. He's able to take a couple with them. Still has the paint shells available. And Lear. Well, Lear got Phantom Moment at the start of this round. And he was. High Tide does have a lengthy timer on it, though. Will be coming down soon as it starts to side steal to take the first fight. But Gangsta to find that kill instead. Meanwhile, or Esports all dropping down for heaven. And they're starting to find the frags. First with the frenzy goes away of Lear. Jonah Six going to scoop one up of his own. Now there's a cove to play through as the blast pack goes in. Nilly works his way onto the site, and all three are here. Two of them now left back site, and there's a paint shell that's at their feet. There's no escaping the death. It's all OR Esports here in the retake. It's all Jonas. Sneaks away, it unscathed. Cascade out, though. Gonna make it hard to fight back for that space. Cove also gonna allow for a bit more safe passage. The close range angles, I don't think these bode well here for Disguise. No, they don't. It's the Spectres that are starting to get it done. With 33 HP forced to reload was Lear, so he's been taken down. Exalt, play off the site. Oh, okay. Yeah, 
some crazy smoke interaction perhaps that just blocked his vision. Either way, it's still looking like it's gonna go the way of our esports. There's just no time for exalt. One enemy remaining. Well, well, I take well. that back. Yeah, you let, let him cook. Exalt with 59 health finds two kills. One of the craziest kills we've seen thus far on the day. Followed by a second play in the spike, and now only nilly to worry about. But it's a very healthy viper on the other side who has heaps of utility. Two snake bites. A poison orb to his name, and he'll finally start this retake on the side again. The 1v1, and the paranoia starts to set in his exalt. Ready on the close angle, spots nearly head in the roll. Does get spotted out there by the trailblazer. They're trying to run him down, and they're going to successfully do so. Steel decides to go towards the vents. Couldn't really back up and get away. And oh no, though, that's not really what you want to be doing. Hey, he got his. Jonah got his. Unfortunately, trades his life for it, but that's what happens when you play with explosives. Sometimes you get burnt on the opposite end, and you still have to be scared if you're Aura Esports, right? At 3v4, we saw what just happened. Well, when Exalt is still alive, unfortunately, he is not, and the rest of the team is starting to fall behind Zip as well. Good spray from Gangsta, unfortunately. Not Mr. Multikill this time around. It's Aura Esports with a beautiful retake. And they'll reclaim that very short-lived utility. What more can they get out of it, though, is the question. Uh, I don't like this that. one. Okay, the frenzies. Yeah, Zell just kind of just putting himself out on an island. Didn't really have a whole lot of help behind him as the flash comes out. Steel turns it and finds the kill. Pure gonna work his way forward. The rifle doing good for two. Unfortunately, the spray gets a little weird. Gangsta finds one for himself. Now a rifle picked up but forced to reload. And the DK is there. Gangsta on eight of his own HP. And clear's gonna do it himself. Gangsta's not needed. And there for OR Esports, surely. They'll be corralled and they try and retake this site. The pit is down and it's deep into screens. Steel there with the shorty in hands. DSG, five players standing strong. Now down to four. It's pure gonna pick up one. He walks his way out into heaven onto the Raptors. Unfortunately, met by Gangsta. Zeldris there to trade it back. It's all up to Zeldris and Lear to try and hang on with the spam. The flash goes into the smoke. Zeldris goes high up once more and Exalt will put a pin in it. Closes the book on split and sends OR pack in 13 to 6. It starts right here as a quick dash onto the site. Clears all the way through and Nilly just trying to get out of dodge. Dodge is out on the shock. Darts will find his first. That steal to fall. Staying true to the first death of the squad. And all said and done, the bodies drop. We're even across the board. but. Ziff just play in the corner where he can watch someone Spike coming planted. through from garage as well as still being able to watch the stairs. They're gathering up together to press One stairs. I like that they're staying together just to play the Ooh. trades, but they're not required. Gangsta. Yeah, Jonah happy to have sprayed down just about two, right? No shields on clear. Gangsta kind of in that same boat, and they'll push aggressively. It's Nilly here to pick up two through the smoke. He goes fishing for one more, but Gangsta survives. There's the third, finally found. Is everybody getting cut down around the map? Still good for one, but he's one and done. Now, Gangsta, as I said, as the round goes on, he's Mr. Multi-Kill. It's a 30 HP Nilly just on the other side. It's a 33 HP so fun. Nilly's good for four on it. Oh, oh, the timing's so crazy. Oh, oh! What is happening? The timing both ways. Finally, some bloodshed here in the spawn. Meanwhile, Steel lurked on his lonesome hunter. Shuri goes flying through mid just as Zeldris follows. And unfortunately, Gangsta not going to find another shot. Everybody will vacate the premise. But the spike's been planted. Clear is going a little bit deeper here. We'll pick up the first. About to meet his counterpart. No, he's not. It's the timing again as Exalt completely unaware. Takes a round to the side of the head. Now, once more, it's all up to Gangsta. With both players playing. Out to the defender side at spawn. A recon bolt, unfortunately, just a bit too far out of reach. 10 seconds left in the drone. Now queued up. He gives up a part of his body. Does anybody bolt to push aggressive here? Five seconds on the drone. The tag on the jet and Zell just goes halfway. Wants to stick it the whole way and OR have done. You can get quite a bit of value, at the very least suppression value. Good flash, it actually does not get Zeldris, but he doesn't find the, the kill, excuse me, clear. The one to sit him down, I'm gonna find that operator pushing forward. Still gonna be happy about this one, the 16 HP player gonna have the operator, but here comes the rolling thunder. The aftershock of Jonah, but still ultimately man advantage for Disguise. They still have alts if they need them. That spike is gonna go down. And the flashes are out. Here to find the first. Ziff looks away from the flash, and he's still planted his feet backside as the paranoia will force Nilly away. And this right here, it's a tall drink, unfortunately. SMG steal in the meantime. 
quickly all the wow. A split finds Nilly with Oh my goodness, what an attack. Yeah, I mean, it gets a little weird, right? With Zell just pushing forward, but he's eventually answered for. So inside lobby's been completely clear. Now you can keep your Killjoy and Ziff to play that flank, and that's exactly what he does. I was thinking, what is this dart for? But they dart for steel. He finds the kill. And I, Jonah Six is probably still wrapping his head around what just happened here in this goal. As he drops down from heaven, L is clear. Back out towards spawn. And well, speaking of clear, there he is. With that window smoke, teammates will use it to control that area as well. And again, just look at how quickly no DSG darts between different types of map control. Headshot. And it really helps when you can confirm the control like that, right? When you have the firepower, really, of, of Ziff, Exalt, and Gangsta, the three consistent names that uh, that come to mind. What can you even do if you're OR Esports, right? You have to worry about this lurk every single time. And this guy's just winning every single fight. Ziff, how about it? Three kills on the round. A smoke about to go down. It's the judge in hand. Swaps back oh to the right God. pole. There's the fourth. Oh. Give it to him, baby. It's Ziff. Look at the reaction. Equally as fast. And same aftershock this time. It's clear to make sure that that kill comes through. Zeldris, though, on the back lines, finds the backstab. Make it two for the Jet of OR Esports, and now it's disguised. We've had a span, clear out some angles with it. First of the Nano Swarm is gonna be popped, and this one's gonna be hard to hear with that Cosmic Divide. Pure VNS making sure that they puts the earmuffs on. Shock darts oh, to come through, and Jonah just looking to stick it. Might get it all the way. No, the Rolling Thunder denies for just a moment as they push through the giant purple wall. They all get cut down, but do they have the time for it? It seems oh, likely. No, they don't. But Steel's still concerned about the flank, and for good reason. Zell just already got a kill in this position. Steel. If he could have doubled up, that, that would have been big, but instead only gets the one, which means his team is still down a man post-plant, and the flanking option is there for the retake for OR Esports. This, this should be one of those rounds if you're OR that you have to come up with now. Not a whole lot stopping you from securing this round. Nobody looking to play post plants off the site. Instead, oh. Gangsta wants to push Whoa. aggressively, and okay, numbers now evened up as Nilly can hop his way out, drops down hell, and awards Gangsta another. He's happy to have those two kills, as Lear will look to hop away. Now Gangsta has to do it himself, and almost early shock guard. Just out of range, though. Stun comes out, and it's a little too far. Nobody able to answer to the players that were out that way. As the flashes come through, the stuns come through. All the bodies push out towards mid, but it's Lear to gather the first. Steel also. Falling here on the map, swinging out from doors. Unfortunately, could not answer with the rest of the team. And Lear's still here. He still wants to fight. He's got 9, 8, 19 HP, and he's going to find clear on the opposite side. Yes, he is. Confirm it. Three kills on the pistol round, and OR Esports in a good start here to their second half. Yeah, there's just not enough time on the clock, unfortunately. I don't think a player in the world that can win it at this point in the round. And after a while, so we saw the Jet doing the last half. Clear, gonna go aggressive. Unfortunately, doesn't find too much. Exalto trying to help him out here. It's the duelist initiator combo. Flashes with the Jet, and well, we go one for one. Gangsta taken down, Exalt will find one. On to Jonah Six, and Ziff is very, very comfortable here on this B side as he just lets Nilly walk on through. Steel is now gonna have to try and answer this one. Through the smoke comes just about the rest of the squad for OR Esports, and they're trying to take the fight right to him, but DSG are winning it out. Exalt for towards that extremity A. Instead, just putting Util there. That eventually gets dealt with. And then everybody else is on the opposite side, whereas DSG, they like to push aggressive just as Zeldris does, eventually answered, but not before finding two, and with that, and Aftershock will keep Gangsta at bay for now. And only two players alive here. It's both Initiators with the Hunter's Fury and quite a bit of Breach Utility to try and win this round back. Aftershock into the pocket. Fault Line comes out, unfortunately catching his team, and the Aftershock still hits onto Pure. An interesting way that that one plays out as both players swing, one a bit wider than the next, and Gangsta tries to hold down Mouse. The site's open to OR Esports. And they'll take that one with the ease, but look at this, Dust. They want to go quick right here. Spike not even to get planted. Rolling Thunder for Rolling Thunder. We go everybody stunned up. Aftershock, nobody home. And the Spike yet to go down as Exalt the first to fall. Clear will get one back. Stunned up our two and steals right on top of his teammate. Zeldris happily collects a double kill. Unfortunately, Clear is gone. Ziff is left. And he was tagged up at the sneer, taking two there, whatever it may be. Now OR Esports are just playing this overwhelm strategy, and it's not enough. For anybody to deal with Nilly, maybe on the 
Overwhelmed and no way. Exalt picks up two. Felt the pressure from A lobby. But, and now Steel is gonna see them coming. That's a great counter paranoia and they're doing damage. It's not finding the final frags they need. Exalt though, finds the hat trick. Steel does go down finally. But the spike will make its way onto A. We're gonna have a two versus two and Exalt is very low on health, but Ziff is not and he's got a Vandal. Oof, did that aftershock land? It does. Yes. It buys some time, so that spike yet to be planted. Recon bolt to delay the push. Ziff now spotted, so they know exactly where both of these players should be as the shock dart comes out. Ziff. Exalt is on 6 Whoa. HP. No shot. He has to be careful as he jumps on down. They look to play the cross. Exalt won't find it. We'll see if Ziff does as Jonah plays the jinkles and Ziff will take. Point of contention, right? That spike just being a bit lagged behind the rest of the team, but with that you're gonna have that cosmic divide available tosses that one out and just before no way clear tried to find the peak but zeldris just a bit better for it flash goes out and they play the wall perfectly to keep this defense at bay another situation that dsg are down in players this time goes from one to two as exalt and gangsta will look to work hand in hand gangsta just doesn't have it in him as the last one standing and expecting the hit to be right where it is Dash onto the site. Zell just the first one in. Shocked our damage. Steel though on the opposite side. Not even worried about the jet. Will take down two of his teammates. And now Gangsta looks to hold onto the site. It's clear. Goes wide on the up shot. And Nilly will punish. Locked down on the opposite end. But one to match. Here from the defense. That spike. Slowly moonwalking to safety here. They haven't yet committed it. No, they have not indeed. Now they walk forward. It's still here. Nilly pushes up, finds the third on the round for him. Ziff now with 20 HP has to find his counterpart, but he's got the spike down at his feet. Nilly on the reload. Ziff on the swing through the box. The shots will go, and it's Nilly. Four on the round. Or East. Lockdown here forces everybody back. Rolling Thunder, though, to try and fight the two players. The two defenders working through the spawn, and Gangsta still on the angle, but completely stunned up. So as they give up the site, Exalt goes aggressive, leaps up, finds the first headshot with the Guardian. Unfortunately, the updraft makes it too tricky. No, it doesn't, Exalt! What are you doing? Lear now has to try and pick up the pieces, but Clear is here to sit. The first death for the team, however, heaps of damage. Dash on into the smoke, a shorty out, two smokes to play with the Cloud Burst. And Zeldris is in, Zeldris is down. That's the op to fall as Lear backs away. Has an idea of tossing out the Owl Drone, but they know where everybody's at. They don't need that extra information. Meanwhile, Jonah pushing aggressively, catches two off guard, almost makes it three as Exalt. Except right where he left off, a tap onto the spike, and he walks into the spray of Nilly. Now oh, wow. only one remains. It's Ziff, and he needs to try and not only find the spike, but find these fights. The Dark Cover down. The spike might be retrievable, but as a nebulous a player down and still util on the spike as here comes that long con that you mentioned a flash on the backside exalt out towards mid can't find the first steal there to trade him out but he's the last one standing and it's not for long it looked scary but then it looked doable for or esports as they take us the distance we're headed to a map three kind of have the top and bottom of the maps covered while the spikes make its way into the side it's gonna be a very interesting play and finally, that turret will ping. Finds one on the site, finds one out towards Art. And Nilly, happy to have that kill on to Ziff. So it's a lot of stall potential as that spike gets planted. A lot of post plant potential gone as Gangsta is stuck on the site. And I say stuck, but he just fights his way back site. And now it's all up to pure VNS here. Spots out the first and can't take him down. The last one's standing. And it, it forces the issue here inside the dugout. But pure VNS will just stay in that area. Flashes towards back site. One of the sheriffs gone, one of the rifles gone. The rest of the team slowly work their way up towards the site. How much more spam do they have? It seems like a whole lot of zip. We'll get the spike planted completely. Oh, and okay, not completely uncontested. It looked that way for just a moment. If you look at the health bars, they're all just so low. So it's easy pickings here for the rest of ORE Sports. There's only one remains for a moment. The main site itself, but it wouldn't dislodge anyone playing deep long B. Plus, there's also a late flank option here for Ziff. Uh... Uh, apps, uh, uh, okay, gravity well from Steel, it pulls Lear right into the open, and there's another player behind it. Steel picks up two, now the Rolling Thunder forces the defenders away, one inside the link, that's Zip, we'll see how long it takes for this play to finally come to fruition, and it does just that, and unfortunately for Pure, two players still to worry about, and a ticking bomb at his feet, and it was, and it's met by Zip, how much more do they want to put this way, they have a player. Posted up here in Jonah 6. Are they ready for it? No, they're not. He peeks his head out and he takes two just like that. Right there.
Yeah, a little bit of an oversight there. They didn't really get that prowler on that side to kind of check that corner. It's obviously not a corner that's often played, so I can understand how it caught the first one off guard, but it's something you really want to be able to trade back right away, and they didn't. And now Nilly it would have harder to work through. That much more decay available as Exalt gets tagged up. He's going to try and jump his way to safety, and he does so. Now clear. Clear left on his lonesome here inside the pit. Pushes forward, finds kill on to Nilly, and... I mean, just like that, Ori Esports working against numbers now as the spike continues to tick. Clear, still healthy, and Gear and Jonah just going to walk away from the round, save their weapons economy. Not on their side. That frag, however, is Exalt. Gravwell making things nice and scary, but a counter Gravwell stops CSG from being able to try to punish this. And the utility is being exchanged left, right, and center. The Prowler, the Flash, it leads Exalt to a frag and a double at that. But Pure responds back in kind. Unfortunately, the initiator's just so strong here for DSG. Meanwhile, Zip with the lurk up towards Art, and he's going to be met by Nilly. So his counterpart will take him down. Nilly takes a good bit of damage in doing so. Finally, we get the op online and clear. Going to be on the receiving end of that shot. A lockdown available. An operator still in the hands in the long angle. Might find Gangsta. Who plays with the rifle. Expecting a player out towards Flowers. Maybe something on the flank has a haunt in three seconds, but that's not the best piece of utility. If you're going to haunt and swing, you're going to do so right into that scoped rifle of Zeldris. And this round looking a bit more winnable, a bit more doable here for OR Esports. It's actually the operator that's going to hop into the spike. Zeldris going to look to get that one halfway off with the cloud burst. The first one falls. The op shot goes wide. Haunt is on. Zeldris is back on it, and he's safe behind the site. And he'll mm. defuse the spike. A huge... In this... And Exalt just going to tuck away. Doesn't want to play the long angle angle while he gets detained. Another Rolling Thunder out towards Long, though. You mentioned this one before. Dust, how much does it mean when everybody's so far away? Out comes the Aftershock. Going to force the players off the pillar. Look at the taps from Zip, though. Collects two of his own. Leaves up. Yes, she. Yeah. OR, though, getting aggressive inside middle. They took this turret down, and they're able to take Zip with it. So that's a big piece to have, because now that sets up the flank threat through B-Link and through Long B. A threat, sure, but not a whole lot there. They're they're working their way through Link. Exalt in an awkward position of his own, kind of out on an island. They're wary of it, and there's the backstab to eventually come through, and it was the play through Link that meant the world here for OR. Esports clear. Right, Clear's been spotted. He's going to be taken down. Spike the fuse. He's got just about six seconds to try and survive. Holy, how about the damage here at the end? A good nano swarm here to pull out the, clear out this close angle. That unfortunately, the null command just didn't matter. Nilly holds down the mouse one. The bulldog takes a bite out of two, but they're traded right back. And unfortunately, one of two can be resurrected. So our esports still going to be working down a player as steel. Okay, play the pillar, baby. Play the pillar, baby. Steel will do just that. And now Lear's got to try and get it done. Action like that in a pro match where dude's playing behind pillar at long B. Like that is ridiculous. What a wild ride. That's a bold what? statement to end the half with. Yeah. The defense dust, uh, but the defenders are already down a player. Indeed they are. And Lear's in a awkward spot. He's got a fault line to help him out. Maybe too close to the fault line. Oh my god, Zeldris. Okay, we talked about the young gun and clear, but how about it? Four kills to the jet. He wants the fifth. Gangsta will deny. And again, Gangsta in a situation where he could get the four kills, sure. The time of 4k that he found in the death means blades online and the spike is planted. So we'll see how the util comes from DSG to work their way back onto the site. Steel still on the wrong side of the map for a moment longer as Zip's already been decapitated. Yeah, Zelda's just holding on to back halls here with the Blade Storm. He's gonna have to spin one of them though on the haunt. Lots of utility being thrown his way. Oh, he God. stays alive and still finds another frag, but Clear and Exalt are finding some of their own as well, but it's very tight. I mean, the, the singular Spectre running and gunning and clearing out back halls. Now the util to come on through. One player suppressed. That's the Killjoy, but the Nano Swarms have already been popped, and the round has already been won. OR Esports played this one perfect. The rest of this half plays out if OR Esports keeps up this tempo. Need obscuring 
Oh, Nilly. That was some unfortunate aggression this time. Oh, okay. Zeldra's going to go up top and find Steel, who tried to use that util to keep himself safe. But the trades are there. The number's still in favor of DSG. Now, the round, however, has not leaned one way or another just yet. That right there might have been the linchpin in it. The pin in the coffin, the nail in the coffin, I should say, as they put the tip of the spear in that regard. Maybe hoping that this can help them bypass some of that Killjoy utility, or at least destroy some of it, to allow them an easier time getting onto the side itself to plant. They do have one player at long. That's going to be the Astra. And now they're finding some entries on the side as well. And clear kind of getting crazy. Pushed through his own wall. I don't know if he was expecting anybody out towards long. Unfortunately, still loses the fight. Meanwhile, Zip was the only one to try and hold on to that side. As Lear looks to leap away. He got the spike planted, but he paid for it with his life. Now, Zeldris noted on the opposite side of the Cosmic Divide. Lockdown also on the opposite side of it. As Nilly catches Zip, looking to play back through the link. Gangsta just on the opposite side of the wall. And they meet face to face. They bump foreheads. And Zeldris comes out on top. And with it, Steel... Has one player detained. Then a 1v2. It's close around the corner. That one to be dealt oh, with. No, no, not even going to find the kill. And that they need if he stays on the right side of, of the map. Way. And that he does. Smack dab in the middle. Looks like Exalt might be the first of the contact here. Zell just goes up top. Trades out that kill on to Nilly. So one for one trade thus far. And the call for rotations. I mean, they're not the most clear from DSG. Right? Steel still expecting maybe somebody to push through mid. Meanwhile... The rest of OR Esports are starting to creep their way up here. They'll Scooby-Doo their way into this A site and, I mean, into the back lines. Jonah 6 looking to do just that. Pure going to find the first as they take the site. Zip trades it back with the rifles, the weapons. They're just not the best. And again, steal. Right, unfortunately. Again, on thin ice, Cosmic Divide comes down. And they're looking to go quick as soon as this subsides. Oh they want to try and fight forward, but it's a Nano Swarm kill. It's a shorty kill. Back and forth we go. We continue to do so as Eldris. Eventually going to be dealt with. Exalt. We're going to make sure he does that. Ziff with a huge round here to keep DSG in it. It's rough. So one for one thus far. It's a Viper down. So you want to have that wall out towards long. Steel obviously working with a couple of stars. Able to get one down to try and cut off vision. Meanwhile, that operator still pushing aggressively. And Aftershock finds a kill onto Exalt. And Jonah is starting to run away with this round. Here for OR Esports. Gangsta, half HP, gets a bit of damage in response, but I mean, holy moly, a near flaw. Stack on this area right now. Oh no, oh no, the op shot goes wide. Fortunately, Gangsta here to pick One up the pieces really and look at the kill feed, it's all DSG. Left. As Lear swapped to the op moments ago, we'll find a kill onto Steel, but down to 16 HP. And of course, you know that damage called out onto the Sova. We'll swap to a rifle. Now look to take the fight forward. To be met by Clear and Ziff with 14 seconds. Have to try and get this one planted. It would take a heroic play, and he almost does oh. it, but Clear catches him tapping the spike. Top in the exchange at A, and they ultimately come up with the kill because of it. Now they're trying to come into Arp. Look at this off angle, but it's spotted by the Prowler, and Exalt will clear him. Really well done there to put that Prowler out. And they are just falling all across the map. Again, surgical strike here from DSG, maximizing their utility. Right there. Okay, though, Zeldris. Oh, okay, never mind. Caught on the way out. <laughs> Lear caught on the clear. Couldn't even do anything. He gets tagged up by the drone, and he's dead almost immediately. But are they expecting this? A couple of players here. Gangsta takes down the first. There's no way Pure expects this here. Oh my god, things get weird, but Gangsta and Steel prevail, and Zeldris and Lear now need to try and hang on. The spike is planted. What do they have for the post? It's not a whole lot. It's low HP. Make it 36 for Zeldris. Lineups available. Are they possible here for Lear? He's still working with two shock darts and a recon bolt. As that clock continues to stick, to tick. DSG, a player ahead, things now equalize. Recon Bolt goes out, where's the push come from? As Eldris deals with Ziff, it's a player inside main, it's all up to Steel, and he's running out of time. A Shock Dart, ready for the spike, he's down to 10 HP, make it another as he walks right on into it. We go with them behind Pillar, and the snake fight finishes the job, and now Jonah might get flushed out as well. Oh no, the snake fight doesn't make it over the wall, and now Jonah's able to line up a couple of kills. How has this been allowed? Low in HP, he doesn't die to the spam, so they're not quite sure if somebody is still there. And the one bit of utility to go over the top to clear it out, it misses. And DSG get punished for it.
And that's the finer details that can wind up winning you and losing you games, especially when it's this tight, left. especially when it's in overtime and the pressure's at its peak. That is such a big time play, but we are still at an even three versus three. Spike is still yet to commit fully to B site, but it will now. And Ziz found Nilly just to add to the edge for disguise. Oh, and I don't know if Zell just was spotted. Spike does get planted here. Lots the shoulder of one. Now has to work through the pit. This is where things start to get scary. One star to play with. Viper just on his right, and he gets that spike halfway. He wants to go the whole way and clear deny. They walk right by it. Deal with the turret. Swarm grenades go out. They jump right on into him, but Lear lines him up and takes down two. Unfortunately, numbers were equal until that happened. A DSG on the back foot once more. Two snake bites to play with the Prowler to work with as well. Unfortunately, three of these defenders, they're on the wrong side of the map from one another. They're going to be pinching the site top to bottom. It's all three, like a jelly donut. The filling spills out. Holy moly. Nilly almost gets that done with just a classic. And now the defenders, they can work together once more. A star goes down. A haunt is available. Clear to tap onto the spike, trying to bait out the gravity well. I don't think that one was used. No one said it's a nebula. And they're not expecting the Astro to be here. The backstab onto one. Clear. Now the tap onto the spike. He tries to walk up on the angle. Pure VNS has to play the time. And has he done so successfully? Clear once more with the tap. Here comes the jump peak. He'll die behind the box. And it seems like Clear might just have it. It comes down to the wire. And just like that. Can you believe it? 0.25 for the DSG series win.